Another type of force problem are, are f involving friction. Let's say you're, you're pushing this object along the ground with some unknown force. So let's say you're looking for this force. Um, well, if there was no friction, we would just do F equals MA. There'd only be one force we'd have to worry about. But if there's friction, you're going to have an opposing frictional force going backwards. Uh, so for these types of problems, to get friction, we're also going to have to take into account well, weight is pulling this thing down. The ground is actually pushing up on it with a contact force, which we call the normal force. It's an F, F sub n. Um, the normal force is perpendicular. Normal means perpendicular to the surface. So here's our perpendicular to the surface. So to get friction, we need the normal force. We also need to know the coefficient. Typically, problems will give you two coefficients. One is called the static coefficient. It's point six. Um, yeah, point six. That's um, a description. It's a number that describes the surface that's holding it in place. The other type of friction, let's say they give us both, which typically is the case, is kinetic. That's what happens. Um, that's the amount of that's the number that describes the surface as it's sliding across the sur um, as it's sliding across the surface. So kinetic, the the only difference between the two is kinetic is sliding, um, static is everything else. So if it's sliding to a stop, then it's kinetic. Or if it's or if it's sliding at all, not even to a stop, then it's, it's still kinetic. Um, so in this case, let's say let's say we're pushing on something, sliding it across the room, and we want to know how much force we have to to exert. To accelerate it, let's use 2 meters per second squared. Let's say the object is again 45 kilograms. Um, we start where we start all these problems with what, what are we looking for, which is F. And again, that's going to be sigma F equals ma. And we ask ourselves, well, how many forces are causing this thing to accelerate? Well, there's there are four forces acting on the object, two of which are, are we're concerned with at the moment is the force applied, that's, we'll just call that F, minus, because friction is opposing us, FF equals MA. Um, so to get this, we know M and A. So this side we're okay with, the, the mass times acceleration side we're okay with. So we need to take a second and find friction. Friction is, so it's the force of friction equals mu, the coefficient of friction, which is a number that describes the surface, the difference in forces, and then times the normal force, which is the force that's holding the two objects together, the contact force. Um, in this case, since it's just sitting on the ground, that would be its weight. Uh, if we were pushing on it, we would add to it. If we were lifting to it, we'd subtract from the normal force. Um, we'd subtract from the weight to get a lower normal force. Uh, so normal force, in this case though, we're not, we're just pushing it to the right. So there is no, no addition or subtraction to the normal force. We just need the weight. Uh, weight again, so here let's do normal force down here. So to get the normal force for this instance, it's equal to the weight, which is mass times gravity, which is 45 times 9.8 which gives us 441 newtons. Um, mu, this guy, the coefficient of friction, it depends on what we're doing. If it was just sitting there um, and we were just trying to get its motion started, it would be 0.6, the static. But since it's sliding, it's kinetic, we're going to use the 0.4. Again, whenever it's sliding, it's kinetic. So we would use 0.4 times the normal force, which in this case, since it's on a flat surface, um, it's just the weight. We do 0.4 times 441, which equals 47.8 newtons. So that's the amount of friction we have going. So now we can go back to our original equation. It's us pushing F minus friction, because that's opposing us, equals MA. Again, that comes from sigma F equals MA, and we had to realize that there were two forces opposing each other, so we subtract. 
force. The force applied is what we're looking for. Friction we found was 47.8. The mass we already knew was 45. And then the acceleration, we were trying to get an acceleration of 2. So on this side, we get 90. We're going to add the friction to the other side. 47.8 plus 90 is going to give us a force, an answer of 137.8. Newtons, which if we want to convert, we would multiply by 0.225 pounds per Newton, which is about 31 pounds of force to uh, push this object across the room.